Alright, so I want to get the drive unit in place here, and I have the motor plate mounted to it. And right in here, and on the other side are two uh, Babbitt bearing housings that a rod slides through, and that catches the ears of the, uh, the drive unit, and that's what allows it to tilt up and down to slack the main belt. So, uh, just got to get something to make a kind of a false floor in here. I got some PVC in here because it fits in there nice and tight because that edge is rounded and it's plenty strong enough to hold this. So what I'm going to try to do is try to see if we can get this thing in here and I'm going to take a lifting strap and or actually a tie down and uh, hook drive unit see if I can raise it up like that. We'll see if that works. Okay, so it's not exactly the lightest thing in the world here. Okay, that's in. Now it's got a ton of oil leaking out of those fill tubes. Um, not a big thing. Okay, so we're going to put the tensioner housing back in place. It can only go on there one way. Um, if you look at 
the side there. You can see how it's tilted it, tilted uh, to make it straight. So it's got to go in like that so that that hole is level. At the wrong size. Kind of wanted to get uh, black oxides bolts and everything for this, but I really didn't want to order them and wait for them. So I just went down to a local hardware store and got regular. Okay, that's on there. Let me get the handle and the mechanism that goes in there. Okay, so you're not going to be able to see this, so I'm going to show you how this works. So this pin here goes through this housing and the handle attaches to it. It then cams onto this pin here, which is attached to the motor, and it kind of sits up like this. So as you turn the handle, it grabs this and causes it to either pull up on this entire mechanism to uh, loosen the belt or when you go the other way it slacks off on this and lets the weight of the motor ride on the belt and you can adjust the height by loosening or tightening this screw and on the outside here there's a screw here and one that isn't in here yet and those are the stops for that handle so um, I'm gonna get in here and just pop that in off camera Okay, so we're all in place there and there's another screw that goes in from this side here that limits this handle travel. I just got to find the screw and put it in and adjust it, but we're in there and you can adjust the tightness of the belt by this little knurled uh, nut down there and that's how that works. And then obviously the motor will be mounted under there and we're going to wait until we do the wiring for all that. Okay, so I got to mount the chip tray. It sits on these two brackets and the foot, and then there's another uh, casting that bolts to those feet that the bed rests on. So we got to get this chip tray in there first. Now I'm going to end up scratching this and having to do some touch ups and everything when I'm done. So I'm not really worried about what some of this looks like right now. 